all right so today i am going to be showing you guys how i got this course or hook whatever y'all want to call it sounding like this but please don't judge my situation if you ain't been inside my shoe no The first thing that I did was I found a guitar loop. I changed the tempo a little bit. And then I found a, a drum loop and then I added that over it. And as of right now, that's all we have on the beat. So honestly, I probably won't add anything else because it just sounds so good. So when it comes to producing, a lot of people try to overcomplicate it. It's really not as hard as a lot of people would like to think. You could just sign up for Splice and go and search millions of loops. Find one that has the type of vibe you're looking for and go ahead and write something to it. So after I had my guitar loop, I wrote the little melody. When I write melodies, basically I will just try to find a word that I like and then I will base my melody around that. Um, on this track, the word that I liked was padded room. I started playing around with that word, uh, trying to come up with like a, a concept of, you know, feeling crazy, you know, like life's a padded room. But yeah, I just kind of played around with that word and this is the vocal chain right here. The plugins that I got, I have uh, NLS channel. I have Metatune with the light tuning preset. REQ pulling out some of these boxy frequencies, rolling off some of the low frequencies, pulling out some of the S frequencies. Then I threw a de on there and then some more EQ. This EQ I rolled out some more of the lows wrote out some of the low mids, wrote out some of the high mids, and boosted some of the highs. CL76 compressor, RVox compressor, and a R compressor. That's the vocal chain. I have that same vocal chain on all of my tracks. I think I recorded it eight times. So I'll let you hear this one by itself, and then I'll start to bring in all of the other layers. You see how it makes it a lot fuller and whatnot. So all of my tracks, I have them running to the bus channel. Uh, the bus channel has like some more compression, some saturation, a little bit more EQ, uh, de-esser at the end. Uh, reverb, fab filter, uh, EQ, and reverb 2 a longer reverb, like a real short delay on a bus course. And then I have some parallel compression. And then I also threw a delay, like you guys can hear the delay right here in the vocals. So that right there is a separate delay channel. And I automate that delay. I keep it on mute and then I take it off of mute, like right here. When the line is down, it's muted. You'll be able to hear the delay when the line's up. That bitch sound like Central City, you feel me? Let's go. All right, y'all, so that is how I put that together. You guys will be following my whole process. Like, anybody that's interested, ugh, I'm gonna be sharing the whole process. I'm about to start showing up daily for y'all. I know I've been uh, absent on Instagram and whatnot. Like, I understand I still do the streams, but I'm about to really start to show up for y'all on the uh, creator side, just showing you, showing you the process of everything I've been doing and letting you guys stay up to date with uh, what we got going on. So thank you all for watching.